Okay. So today, um, I'm going to do something pretty simple. I'm going to go over how you might create a menu for your game. Because I've gotten that requested quite a bit. So probably a lot of you who are more experienced with Game Maker, uh, this isn't going to be very useful to you. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll touch on something that you hadn't thought of before, but probably not. So I've got this button. It's 256 by 64 pixels, and it doesn't have any text or anything on it. So pretty simple, and I'm going to create an object now call this object button parent and we'll give it the sprite button and I'm going to add a create event uh, base building oh game maker 5 holy cow <laughs> that's probably like the first game maker version I used that's insane Okay, let's do um, so each button is going to have some sort of a text. So I'm going to initialize a variable called button text, just set it to an empty string for this. And then I'm going to create a draw event and um, we will just draw the button and the text. So let's do this. Let's do, uh, let, uh, we'll want to draw the button first, draw self, draw the text next. Uh, you can get Game Maker Studio for free without a resource limitation on it. So I would recommend that. Um, draw text. Let's do X, Y, because I centered this. And then button text. Um, I'm going to want to set the horizontal align and the vertical align. So draw, set, well, let's see, it's just set draw set h align and then i think it's f a center draw set v align f a middle so that'll set both the horizontal align and the vertical align before we draw the text after we draw the text i'm probably just going to send them back set them back to left and oh i don't know what the default is for the vertical align i'm guessing i'm guessing it's top whatever <laughs> i'll have to figure that out so we've created our button parent now and i'm gonna create a room and um Yeah, you can't port. Yeah, that is. Uh, and you've got the watermarks. But if you're just learning, it's still pretty great. So, I don't know. Draw self. FA middle is default? Wow, that's interesting. Huh. I am reading the, te the chat. It's just a little bit delayed. So, let's uh, put this button in this room. And I'm a. Uh, we don't want the parent button in the room, I guess. Um, settings. We'll call this room menu. And then I'm going to create one more room and call it room game. So this would be where your game actually is. And I'm going to make this a different color to make this easier easier to see visually. I'll give it a blue background like the sky. Now we're going to create a new object and call this object start um, button. We'll give it the same sprite and we'll give it a parent of the button parent. Only now we're gonna give it 
a uh, create event. And we're going to call, um, we're going to do button text equals start. Let's do start game. And I'm going to duplicate this and create another button called object button. Well, let's object and a button. And we'll call this exit game. Except I might call it exit button just to be consistent. Yeah, I think this, I, I don't know, my, my internet's pretty fast, so the stream should be doing pretty well. It should be streaming pretty well. Yeah, uh, I've got, I'm pretty excited because it's actually thanks to pa Patreon that, that I'm able to stream, to live stream. Because I used some of the money that I got from Patreon to save up for a slightly nicer computer. Because I had a laptop from like 2010, and it could not stream. It it's it had it, it just couldn't handle it. I tried before and it just wouldn't work. So I saved up, budgeted for about a thousand dollar desktop computer, and bought that. And uh, so this one's quite a bit faster. And my upload speed should be around 90 megabytes a second. So I, the stream should be pretty good. But I don't know. Um, let's go into the button parent again, and we're gonna create uh, something in here called button action, and we're going to set this equal to. Uh, script exit game with no per you don't want to do. So uh, you don't want to do the two parentheses afterwards because we're just grabbing the ID of the script. This is actually the script call operator, so we don't want that. And we're going to come and create two scripts. We're going to call this one script exit game. And we'll just do... Um, Let's see, we're gonna do game end. I keep reading the comments and getting distracted. <laughs> this is a new experience for me. It's fun though. It's nice to get input from you guys directly. Um, we'll, we'll create another one called script start game. This way you can assign different actions to each of your buttons, um, but still have use the same button parent for the click event on them. So a script start game will do um, room go to room game. And inside of our start button, we're going to do um, button action equals script start game. Remember not to do the script call operator afterwards. Don't do the parentheses. That's a common mistake. And then we're going to do button action equals script exit game. And inside of our button parent, we're going to do a mouse left pressed. And then all we're going to do is um, X call the button action and we're going to do execute script let's see script execute and uh, we're just going to do button action in here 
Now hopefully I set this up all right. Um, let's go into our menu and drag in our two buttons. We'll do the start button and uh, try and make it sort of centered. And then the exit button. Um, you could make these this sprite gray and then give them different colors too. The exit button could be red while the start button's green. I mean, you can put all, you can customize your create event um, with some different actions here and give your parent object some some more functionality. But let's save this and try and run it. And <laughs> the text is kind of small. Um, I guess that's not too big of a deal. Grain War. Grain War is <laughs> going well. Uh, I don't get to work on it as much as I would like. Thanks QDog88 for the congratulations on the kid. Oh, she's doing great. Um, that's part of the reason progress on Grain War has slowed down. But, uh, it's I haven't stopped working on it so don't worry about that yes I will be streaming development of grain war so and I'll keep you guys posted on that because I uh, it'll it, it'll help give me some what's the word that I want to use uh, it, it'll give me an excuse to kind of keep me working on it if I'm streaming it for you guys so, and it'll be kind of fun too. Um, so let's make sure this actually works. If I press start game, it takes me to the start room. And if I come back and press exit game, it exits the game. So we've got a basic menu system um, for your game. And this is, I tried to do this pretty simple. So it's just using the mouse button to click on these. You could set it up to do the arrow keys as well, but for this example, I decided not to do that. So, honestly, I, uh, so tonight's actually my best friend's birthday party. So, this is all I'm really going to stream tonight. Sorry it was a quicker one, but hopefully this video was helpful or is just kind of fun to chat with me. I will be doing some more like this. And uh, I'll take I'll take more feedback from you guys in the chat. I'd like to do some where some streams where I literally just open it up for questions and then I try and answer your questions with examples in code. Um, and if I can set it up that way, I think that would be really great for you guys to learn. So, well, happy birthday tomorrow, Q Dog, eight <laughs> eight. Yeah, it is a short stream. I'm sorry, but I got to go hang out with my best friend. So I will do more and I'll do longer ones in the future too. And like I said, I really do want to do ones where you guys ask me, oh, how do you do this? And then I can go try and do it and give you guys a live example showing you how to do it. So, oh, dang, you just got here and I have to go. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I can stream tomorrow. That's I, I definitely want to. So one of the things I've been working on the Pokemon game that I promised like forever ago, that tutorial series, and I want to stream some of my development on it, just what I've been goofing around with. So uh, anyways, it was great to have you guys along and chat with you tonight. So I'll set up a time to stream again and post it on Facebook and Twitter so more of you can come check it out. But I really appreciate you guys coming and watching. It's super fun. Um, no, I'll be doing different times for streams. I'll probably be doing... Uh, I'd like to be doing some earlier streams. Tonight was later because my friend's actually over. So I'll probably do alternating streams. I'll do some streams in the morning, like on the weekends and ones at night. Trying to catch people with different time zones because I realize you guys are all over the world and we'll have different time zones but if you miss a stream um, don't feel bad I'll be uploading them all to YouTube so anyways it was good to talk with you guys and I will talk to you guys later